Hi, today we are going to show you how to perform a test for Bakelite using semi-chrome polish. We think this is the most reliable way to check if your piece is real Bakelite. First thing, always use plastic gloves to protect your hands. The semi-chrome polish is very strong and you don't want to have any direct contact with your skin. This is the semi-chrome polish. It's used to polish any metal, but also works wonderfully to establish if the piece of jewelry is Bakelite or not. Unlike other plastic, Bakelite oxidizes and the polish will remove the oxidation. You will also need a Q-tip for the test. First we take the semi-chrome tube, open it, and with the other hand take the Q-tip and proceed to put a very small amount of polish on the tip of the Q-tip. As you can see, the color of the polish is pink. Next. Set aside the semi-chrome tube and take the jewelry piece that you want to test. The best place to perform the test is in the interior part or any other less visible part of the piece. Because the semi-chrome can change color of the Bakelite, if you don't clean up very well, keep the test area as small as possible. To continue, rub the bracelet with the tip moving in a very small circular motion for around 3 to 4 seconds. As you can see, the color of the tip has changed as a consequence of chemical reaction from pink to very strong yellow. You don't want to see a brown or black, but very strong yellow. Any other color could indicate the piece is not Bakelite. After you test the piece of jewelry, you're going to take a plain, clean piece of cloth and wipe out the area you just tested to avoid leaving any residue from the polish. Well, that's it. I hope this video of Bakelite test has been helpful. Please continue giving us feedback about our website, passionforbakelite.com. And thank you. Have a great day.